Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian and in today's video we're doing something completely different when it comes to makeup. I feel like I say this in every single intro, like I need to stop saying we're doing something different because at the end of the day we're just doing makeup tutorials but that's besides the point. Anyways, I'm trying something different. I did this hot pink eyeshadow situation and I kind of like how it turned out. Uh, I didn't do a winged liner. I don't even remember the last time I didn't do a winged liner, but I kind of like how it looked. Before we head into the video though, make sure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so you can get a notification every time I upload, which is every Sunday, by the way, just saying. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below. And let's just head straight into the video. I don't really know what kind of look we're gonna go for today. Anyways, let's start off with our primer. I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Now that I've primed my face, I'm going to color correct using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the orange corrector. I'm kind of tired. Like, I had a whole shopping spree today, but that's, that's a whole nother story. So I need to color correct under my eyes. Right now it's like 11 p.m., but I really need to film because if you watched my last video, you will know that one of my goals for this year is to upload every week. Do you guys think Sunday is a good day to upload or, or would you guys rather have me upload on another day? Please let me know in the comments because I don't really know what day. I'm just doing Sunday because I don't know, it's easy, but whatever you guys prefer you see how clean this brush is I've had it for years literally years but I put my brushes in the washing machine because I saw a hack on Twitter only bells was the one that posted it and she put all of her makeup brushes in the washing machine I was shook my brushes did like they were like damaged some of them because I put it in for like an hour or two like the normal program basically but I should have put it in on the 30 minute program <laughs> but literally I haven't seen some of my brushes that clean ever okay now before I'm gonna do my foundation and stuff I want to do my eyebrows first and for that I'm using the NYX micro brow pencil in the shade espresso what kind of videos do you guys want to see from me please let me know because I'm kind of running out of inspiration like of course I can keep doing these makeup videos but do you guys want to see something else from me like I don't know anything let me know in the comments please because I need some inspiration I really really need to get my eyebrows done <laughs> I just tweezed them a little but I just need to get them done I always um, get them done by someone else by using the threading method I feel like threading just gives the cleanest results, like the sharpest eyebrows. Now I'm going to carve out my eyebrows with the Benefit Bowing Cakeless Concealer. Damn, I can't speak. And I'm going to blend it out with a small brush. My eyebrows are really not working with me today. I don't know what this mess is, but we're just going to move on. I'm just going to set my brows with some 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. This is just like a clear brow gel. So now that the brows are done, we're going to move on to the face. And for my face, I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. As you guys know, I've been obsessed with this foundation. It's literally, I love it. As well as this foundation brush from NYX. This is the foundation brush that is in the Can't Stop Won't Stop collection. And I love it. I really, really love it. Life hack. Spray some setting spray during every step of your face basically. I like to spray some setting spray when I apply my foundation and also when I apply my concealer and contour. That makes your foundation and just your makeup stay much longer. I'm just going over it with my beauty blender to make sure that everything is nice and blended. 
Moving on to concealer, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Warm Honey. For contour, I'm using my Fenty Match Stick in the shade Truffle. I also like to apply a setting spray to my concealer and contour because it just makes it blend more like seamless and it makes it all one. For some reason, New Year's Eve feels like ages ago, but it's only the 11th of January. Like, it's not even two weeks ago. <laughs> This month, it, I don't know what it is about this month, but it always goes slow. It's so weird. It is so weird. How has the year started for you guys though? I'm curious because my year started off not really good to be honest because New Year's Eve, I stayed up until like 6 a.m. or something, 6.30 a.m. So that really messed up my sleeping schedule and I just constantly feel tired. I would just feel tired all the time so now that uni has started, I do feel much better, like I'm getting back on my normal sleeping schedule again slowly, slowly but surely and yeah, just getting back on my grind but now that I am back on my grind, I do feel good, like I do feel motivated and this year is gonna be different I can feel it but yeah, overall my year started off alright I just, I just had a lot of rest actually, so that's good I rested up and got ready for the year how was your start of the year? Let me know in the comments. Also, since you already made it this far into the tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to reach 5,000 subscribers. So, while I'm blending, you click that subscribe button, sis. I'll be waiting. Don't worry, I'll be blending this for a long time. Also, if you want to see more of me from my daily life, go follow me on Instagram. My name is Lillian Tech Guy. Same name as on every other platform, basically. <laughs> But yeah, Instagram and Twitter, I try to be on Twitter, like I try to be more active on Twitter, but like I like and retweet a lot of tweets, but I don't really tweet myself. I just want it a little tiny bit more highlighted, so I'm going to add a lighter concealer. This one is by Revolution, the Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C10.5. Just my chin a little and here. That's it. Moving on, I'm going to set my face with my Sasha Buttercup powder. I'm going to prime my eyes with the NYX High Definition Eyeshadow Base. This one is basically like a dupe of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Base. I do really notice the difference though between setting my eyes with just concealer and setting my eyes with an eyeshadow primer because when I set my eyes with an eyeshadow primer it literally does not crease at all especially with people like me with hooded eyes you need this I just blend it out with my finger I know some people like it when their eyelids are tacky before they apply the eyeshadow but I hate it like I cannot work with that so I'm just going to set the primer with the same banana powder that I used on my face and you really don't have to put much, like a tiny little bit. Sometimes it's just even the leftover that's on the brush. Just to make it like matte and dry. And then I'm also going to put some setting powder under my eyes to catch the fallout from the eyeshadows. I'm going to start off with this soft pink right here. And I'm just going to apply this to my crease. Ooh, this is a really nice color. I was afraid that it wasn't going to show up on my skin, but I do like it. I grab this color right here and I'm applying that color to my lid. I never do pink eyeshadow looks, but I think this will look nice. Then I'm going to grab more of a flatter brush and grab this hot pink color and I'm going to put this like on my lid lid. And I'm just using the brush that I used for my crease to blend it all out. I'm just using the two colors that I used for my crease to blend out the harsh lines. Then I'm going to use this shade from the Queen Tarzi palette. This is the shade Madeline and I'm going to apply it with my finger Ooh, this matches perfectly though 
Today we're going back to natural with the lashes. Um, I haven't used these in ages. When these used to be my favorites actually. So I'm going to use the Ardell Wispies. It's not it's not every day five centimeter long lashes. <laughs> Sometimes we just gotta go back to natural. Let me apply my lashes and I'll be right back with you guys. Last step is I'm going to line my waterline with the NYX Water Wonder Pencil uh, in the shade Light. Now it's time to dust off the Axis powder under my eyes. And with the leftover pink, I'm going to line my bottom lash line. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going to grab the Morphe palette and I'm... Um, going to use this shimmer over here. I hope it looks nice. For bronzer, I'm using my Kiko eyeshadow in the shade 108. And for blush, I'm using my MAC Pinch Me blush. This is my only blush, by the way, so if you have any blush recommendations, I want to buy some new ones. For highlighter, I'm going to use my MAC Oh Darling highlighter, but before I do that, I'm going to spray my face with my setting spray. And sometimes when I feel like the highlighter is just too harsh, I grab this highlighter brush, like a fluffy brush, and I just kind of blend it in more with this brush, as you can see. Now I'm gonna lock it all in with the Morphe setting spray. I know Jackie Aina always talks about how bad this spray smells, but I love the smell of it. Literally, it smells really good. So I always apply lip balm before I do my lips. And I'm just going to do a nude lip with this eyeshadow because the color itself already pops. So I don't want to add to that. Um, so I'm going to do my favorite lip combo. Kiko Brown Lip Liner, the shade 321. And the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. Line my lips and then I'm going to add the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is the final look. I hope you guys like it. I actually quite like how it turned out. I'm not sure about the lip. Maybe I should have just stuck with like a clear gloss, but I really like the eyes. It looks weird seeing my eyes without a winged liner. I haven't done that in ages. <laughs> but yeah, I really like it. I hope you enjoyed it. I kind of like this look. It's very different than what I do usual, but I definitely would wear this outside, so I think we did a good job. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell to stay updated every single Sunday, because that's when I upload. Yeah, tell all your friends to subscribe too, because I really want to reach 5,000 subscribers. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!